Today I want to review Holly Black's The Darkest Part of the Forest. And the reason I want to review that book is because I've been seeing Holly Black's name attached to a lot of books that sound good to me. They fall, you know, in fantasy and in topics that I think I would enjoy. And I also wanted to read a book that had the fae in it, but one that was a one-off. So I didn't have to commit to this huge long series, even though I hear some of them are very good. I I'm just not ready for that. I have other series that I'm trying to work on right now and I'm still super mad at Patrick Rothfuss because I write. Anyway, if you know, you know. <laughs> not thrilled. Uh, even though it's excellent books. So, The Darkest Part of the Forest. I think Holly Black does an amazing job of, if she puts a detail into the story, she brings you back around to that story or to that detail. So there are, there are all sorts of things throughout the book that she'll mention and you know, like, oh, that's a cute detail or, oh, that's interesting. Or yes, that this adds to the story, but it adds to the story in more than just adding, you know, atmosphere or backstory. Like it, it comes back. Sounds like my cats are getting in trouble. So I really enjoyed the way she did that. You know, it really epitomized the, if you shoot them a gun in the first act, then somebody better shoot it by the third act. She did an excellent job at that. And I thought she did a good job of, of writing a great setting, uh, very atmospheric. The town that the story takes place in is, you know, a town in the US and it just happens to have fairies. So, so the fairies are real in this town. The, they leave the townsfolk alone for the most part, except for some things. And then you'll kind of get into you know, what the most part means into the story and that it plays into that. And then they have a lot of tourists and the, the Fae will mess with the tourists more so. And that's kind of the deal. And again, this is like a very, like I'm skimming this, no spoilers. Uh, so like, you'll see how like it goes in and then it, she really fleshes that out. And the, the main characters are, well, so th there's one main character. It's really like the girl. Uh, but her brother plays pretty strongly into it too. You know, there's there's some romance in the book. There's, you know, a fairy boy in a unbreakable glass coffin in the middle of the woods. There's magical swords. There's just lots of like cute little like fairy tale details that are throughout the book. And then of course the, the girl ends up fighting a monster or two. And the way that that evolves is is very interesting. And I had like a little like, oh snap moment. So I thought that was, that was a lot of fun. Uh, so I ended up giving this book three stars. So three, three out of five, just for reference uh, on Goodreads when I rated it. So I, I do think that this is a good book. I liked it. I enjoyed it. I will read another Holly Black book. I have heard that her books are very different in tone. So if you like one, you, you might not like another one, but the writing was really good and the story was a lot of fun. So I'm willing to risk it. Please let me know if you have a favorite Holly Black book and what it is and if I should be reading that next, if I should move it up. Maybe I could be persuaded. <laughs> Thank you so much for joining me. Have a good night.